today is uh, the leucine index post-processing. And by post-processing, I mean the splitting, merging, sorting, and pruning. Uh, then I'm going to explain a concept of a tiered search, where you have multiple tiers, uh, each with different uh, quality of uh, returned results. And then finally, I will uh, explain um, uh, a slightly unorthodox application of Lucene and Solar, which is a bitwise search. So uh, what I'm going to uh, present today, uh, partially these will be ready-to-use solutions and tools that already exist. But also, partially, this uh, presentation is, uh, is meant to steer your imagination, to uh, encourage you to think outside the box and to look for applications of Lucene that uh, are non-obvious. Uh, and uh, some of the topics I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, discuss uh, have close ties uh, to scalability, performance, and distributed search. So let's move to the first topic. Uh, first. Naturally, we have a question. Why post-process indexes? Uh, isn't it better to build them right from the start? Uh, of course it is, uh, if you can afford it or if it's uh, convenient or feasible. But sometimes, in certain situations, uh, it's not possible to do so. For instance, let's say you, uh, you just uh, finished indexing of a large corpus and you realized that uh, there was a certain group of documents that introduced uh, a skew or bias uh, into the uh, term composition of, uh, of your term dictionary. Well, there is very little that you can do about it, except just deleting the whole document. Another scenario is when you target a specific index size or composition. Like uh, if you want to deploy your huge index to multiple distributed uh, searchers, then you want to split it, uh, let's say, into evenly sized shards or you, you want to rebalance shards after some indexing operation uh, created uh, too large index on one machine, then you, then you want to move part of this index to another machine. Another scenario is where you want to uh, fit uh, a complete index in RAM for ultimate performance in searching. So sometimes it's very difficult to do so uh, in advance, and sometimes it's impossible to do it right. Like, let's say, you want to remove some data, some information from indexes, uh, so that the index is smaller, probably for the purpose of fitting it in RAM, but uh, at the same time you want to retain the quality of top end results. This looks nearly impossible to do. So let's start from the, uh, uh, the easiest uh, subtopic here, which is merging indexes. This is actually very easy to do, and that's uh, one of the fundamental Lucene operations. There's a class uh, in Lucene which is called Segment Merger. Uh, as you keep adding documents when indexing, Index Writer initially buffers these documents uh, in memory, but then periodically, as the buffer fills, uh, fills up, it flushes this buffer to a new small segment on the disk. And then after a while, again, periodically, these small segments get merged into larger ones. So as you see, this is a fundamental operation that is uh, uh, used uh, always in Lucene. So there are common line utilities, uh, uh, or actually the one utility in Contrib Miscellanea, uh, which is called Index Merge Tool. Uh, what it does uh, under the hood, it uses Index Writer first to create an empty target index, and then it reads data from uh, source indexes using index readers and uses this API, add indexes, uh, with a list of index readers. So this is uh, that simple. Um, a similar uh, operation is available in Solar. If you run Solar uh, in a multi-core setup and you enabled core admin actions, there is an action which is called merge indexes. Uh, of course, Lucene by itself uh, is schemaless. So you can, uh, you can merge indexes even if they, uh, they contain wildly different uh, documents. Uh, it's not so with, with Solar. Uh, with Solar, schemas must be more or less compatible. Otherwise, you will get strange resu results. So the merging is uh, very simple and uh, very easy to accomplish. It's not so with splitting. Splitting indexes uh, until very recently was, uh, was a very difficult operation. Actually, there were no user-level tools for doing this. 